Hi guys, welcome back back to my channel. I'm Ellen and I love to talk about books. So if you like to hear people talk about books, I would strongly recommend that you would subscribe to my channel because that's all I talk about. I'm so excited for this video because in this video, I'm going to be talking about my two favorite things, Taylor Swift and books because Taylor Swift is my all-time top favorite artist. So in this video, I'm going to be matching Taylor Swift lyrics to books. I've chosen not to pick songs because I feel like that would be so much harder. So I have picked my favorite lyrics out of my favorite songs. And I have all of my lyrics on my phone. The first one is Cardigan. And the song has to be in my top three favorite songs ever by Taylor Swift. And I have picked You Drew Stars Around My Scars. You drew stars around my scars. And I have picked Mile High and the Right Move by Liz Tomford. I love these books. I love the entire series. Also caught up, but I haven't chosen that book for these lyrics, you know? The first book is about Sanders and Stevie. Sander is this professional hockey player. My favorite trope is in this book. Reformed playboy. And Stevie is a flight attendant for the team's private plane. And you know, Stevie has all of these insecurities. She doesn't like her body. She's plus size. But she has always been insecure about that. And then she meets Sanders and she's like, no, no, boy, boy, no. I don't want to be with you because you go around girls like it's nothing. So I'm going to stay away. And he takes this as a challenge, you know. And then he proceeds to fall in love and is doing everything in his powers to make her feel loved and to love herself. I just love that and I love this entire book. And then it's the right move and it's about Ryan and Indy. Like Indy at the entire beginning of this book, she gets cheated on so she doesn't have anywhere to live. So Stevie, her best friend, tells her you should just move in with my brother. He's a professional basketball player so he lives in a big apartment alone but it's kind of hard to get to know. And then Ryan proceeds to make it his life mission to get over her heartbreak. Like he was such a supportive guy in all of this. That's why I picked Mile High and The Right Move. And then I have picked a lyrics from Cool Summer. And it's like the ultimate summer song. So I feel like you might be confused why I picked a dark romance book for those lyrics. He looks up grinning like a devil. And I feel like if it contains the word devil. I have to pick a dark romance book, you know? So I have picked God of Wrath by Rena Kent. This book was amazing. It's a second generation series and I love the entire Rena Kent universe. It's about this mafia prince and like this supposedly innocent girl. What her friends doesn't know, she isn't. <laughs> She's in love with Landon, so she decides to write herself up at this sex website. And she writes in that she loves primal play, she doesn't like to be blindfolded, and hopes that they choose Landon for her to like do the primal play and everything. But no, they choose the mafia prince. When she gets to know this, like in the act of everything, she's like, are you kidding me? I wanted Landon. But no, it's the mafia prince. And like one scene in this book, she walks alone at night with her headphones on, on the like, the highest volume when these men starts to follow her and he beats them up because the only one who is allowed to stalk her is him like i threw my book across the room i was like that's the fucking cutest shit i have ever seen if that doesn't describe the devil i don't know what does so i did something bad like the song i'm a reputation girly to the bottom of my heart. I love the entire Reputation album. They say I did something bad, then why does it feel so good? And I have picked her soul to take. Ah! It's about Leon and Ray. Ray moves back to this small town she grew up in where everything is haunted. And this fucking cult gang tries to abduct her and sacrifice her to their god with the help of a demon called Leon. And they can use him because they have the grimoire that can summon him. But she gets a hold of this. So she summons him because she wants to like put a video on her YouTube channel where she summons a demon, like girl. And then she learns, oh, <laughs> this is Leon, the guy I've been seeing. So that's why I picked this book because like, he proceeds to fall in love with her. She, she does too. He just wants her so, but she proceeds to fall in love with him. I did something bad, but why does it feel so good? Because she summoned a fucking demon but then proceeded to fall in love. Tell me why I thought that I would never read a romance book about a girl who summons a demon and then I 
fell in love with a fucking demon. Why would I read about that shit? But I did, and I absolutely love it. And then I picked ah, a lyric from my all-time favorite song. This is my absolute favorite song ever written by Taylor Swift. It's The Archer. I've been the archer, I've been the prey. Who could ever leave me, darling, but who could stay? And I have picked Binding 13 and Saving 6. These books are about two siblings, Joey and Shannon, who's grown up to hell. They've been through so much shit. Shannon has been bullied her entire life. So she changes schools and meets Johnny, her fucking soulmate. I'm in love with Johnny. There's no better book friend than Johnny Kavanagh. And then there's Joey, who's always been through so much shit. Like he struggles with ab abduction. No, he struggles. <laughs> He struggles with addiction and these two siblings has not been having it easy like they grew up in a Abusive household so trigger warning this is about parents who is abusive and then they just meet their soulmates Johnny and Effie don't have words to describe the love I have towards these books like they're amazing They're everything and then some and I'm so excited for Taming 7, which comes out in April, so. So please, if you haven't read this series, please do, because it's amazing. And then I have picked lyrics from Call It What You Want. All my flowers grew back as thorns, windows boarded up after the storm. He built a fire just to keep me warm. And I have picked His Greatest Muse by Hannah Cohen. I don't have the physical book at home. I love this book, like he's, <laughs> he was so loved. But he was also so misunderstood. He was so grumpy. He didn't like anyone except for her, Tiny. The soft spot trope. I love it. But he didn't have anyone except for her. And he has always felt like no one loves him. Not even his parents. And I know that his parents love him. But he hasn't felt that way. And I understand. So like he was a softie at the beginning. And then he just switched. Because he didn't have it easy. And then she came along. And she helped him. Like, get back to his old self. And it was beautiful. Then I have picked lyrics from Style. You come and pick me up, no headlights. Long drives could end in burning flames or paradise. And I have picked Watch Your Mouth by Candy Signer. And it's just because... <laughs> this entire thing is about a road trip with her brother's best friend. Like, I died. I died while reading this book. It was so cute. I love the forbidden trope. He's a professional hockey player again. She gets heartbroken. And he's like, always been having a soft spot for her. So he was like, well, just come with me to a drive. And she's like, oh, where? To like Canada. And he's like, oh, I thought for a night, but sure, let's go to Canada. And she's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, thank you. And then the attraction grows and, you know, the forbidden trope, so. Then I picked lyrics from Out of the Woods. We need love, but all we want is danger. Period. That's why I picked dark romances and not ordinary romance books. I picked God of Malice <laughs> by Rena Kent, where he's a literal psychopath, like on paper and everything. Because that's danger and girl. She wanted love, she wanted kids, she wanted a I love you. She didn't get that. <laughs> because he's a psychopath. He showed her love. He didn't explain the love and didn't tell her that he loved her, but he showed her. Like, action speaks louder than words. And please, please, please check trigger warnings because... <sighs> some of you might not enjoy this book, but some of you will eat this shit up like I did. Then I have picked You're Losing Me. And all I did was bleed as I tried to be the bravest soldier fighting in only your army. Front lines, don't you ignore me. And I have picked The Serpent and the Night of Wings. <laughs> I love this book. I read this a couple of days ago after I posted my book haul. It was everything and then some. And I haven't read the second one, so <laughs> please don't spoil it for me because I have no idea what's about to come. And I picked this because He's a vampire, and she isn't. Her life is literally in danger just by being close to him. They have a tournament for all the vampires, and she and she's going to be in this tournament too, so she will always and consistently be in danger. For the third child, I think, they have to team up, and she's like, oh, who the fuck am I supposed to team up with? Like, everyone wants to kill me here, or like, drink my blood. So she teams up with... <laughs> 
<laughs> so she teams up with Raid, Rain. Yeah. He chose him! And they go so good together. Like, they fight so well. So well together. And their chemistry is everything. I ate this shit up. That's why I've picked this, because they're fighting together. And you know, the soldier part. Um, yeah. And then I picked Why in this dream. I said, no one has to know what we do. His hands are in my hair. His clothes are in my room. And I picked Quarterback Sneak by Candy Signer because it's a forbidden romance. Her dad as his coach. Me crying, giggling inside. Like, it was so good. I love when they have to hide everything and, like, oh no. Yeah? You know? Have to do everything in their power to make sure that her dad doesn't find out because otherwise he will be kicked off the team and he will not make it in the basketball thingy. So, no, basketball? What the fuck am I talking about? The American football thingy. And I have picked Don't Blame Me. Don't Blame Me. Love made me crazy. If it doesn't, you ain't doing it right. And I epic Deviant King. Mm -mm -mm. Like, love made you crazy, girl. <laughs> she starts at this extravagant school where everyone's rich. And it's like, yeah, I'm just going to melt. Like, I'm just going to be invisible. Like, I don't want any trouble at this school. And on the first day, she meets Aiden at the football field. And he just pushes her up against the wall. And it's like, basically, I'm going to make your life a living fucking miserable hell. And she's like, what have I ever done to you? This couple has three bucks, so. Like, yeah, like usual, she proceeds to fall in love with him. And I thought that that made her crazy because it's a bully romance. Like, why would you fall in love with your bully? Even though I fell in love with him too. And then I picked lyrics from I Can See You. You brush past me in the hallway and you don't think that I can see you, do you? And I have picked a deal by L. Kennedy. This is the book I have tapped. Like the most. You brushed past me in the hallway and you don't think I, I, I can see you, do you? It's the popular ex nerdy trope. It was the book that got me back into reading, guys. He doesn't get his grades up. He's kicked off the bath. The basketball. Oh! He's kicked off the hockey team. So she goes to the girl who has like the best grade in this class and like. And it's like, yeah, you really need to help me with my grades. And she's like, no, I don't want that. And then he sees that she's in love with this other man. And he's like, I can make him fall in love with you if you just help me. And she's like, yeah, well, sure, I will. Hannah and Garrett, ah! I love them. They're amazing. They're the best. And just like, oh, chef's kiss. They're wonderful. Vigilante shit. They say looks can kill and I might try. I don't dress for women, I don't dress for men. Lately I've been dressing for revenge. And what is a book more fitting than Her Soul for Revenge? This book is literally only about revenge and romance, you know? She was once sacrificed to their god. Again, it's the same universe. But she escaped. So now she wants revenge on the entire family. Like, fuck you. She feels like that. So she sells her soul to Sane if he helps her get revenge. And then she proceeds to fall in love with him and he proceeds to fall in love with her. Like this entire series was everything. I love this series. So guys, please read it. If you need another beautiful written dark romance book. Those were all of the books and all of the lyrics that I was going to talk about in this book. If you want a part two, I would gladly do one. Or if you want a part two but with another artist i would do that too just let me know hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in next